previously on Balls. We want to get Joe Cran from Soccer Laduma. He's at the press conference. Gordon asked me to go. He wouldn't give me any names before the bloody tournament, Gordon. And um, and so I can't be there because I'm here. But we have got Joe Cran there. The squad goalkeepers Wayne Sandlands and Roman Williams. So we spoke about Roman with Deshi at the start of the uh, at the start of the hour. Hello. And defenders, Fransman and Tete Mashamaiti, Matoho, Tlatswayo, Langman and Gamedi. And I'll let Joe Cran. Is that you, Joe? Joe. Hi, how you doing, man? <laughs> yeah, mate, I'm all right. So so you're at Safa House. You've just heard the squad announced. I'm quite surprised by how many of the uh, older established players are in. Bernard Parker will feature up front, do you think? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I don't know if they'll go, to be honest. Um, I, I know that, that Bobby's, Bobby's got a problem with the Chiefs players going from what I'm told. Um, uh, Kaiser has apparently told Gordon that it's fine and that the Chiefs players can go um, but, but Bobby seems to be sticking to his guns on this one so we'll see what happens with that um, Gordon has said that um, he's got players in mind should people want to withdraw the, withdraw the players um, so yeah we'll have to see because he's picked as far as I can see I, I think I was looking on the internet I'm now looking at the official squad announcement so Yeye's in Shabba's in yeah Parker's in, and yep. these are the kind of the, the, the old and tried and trusted. Noe Tumal and Kuno, Wayne Sandlands and Roman Williams. Like I say, Deshi spoke with great praise for Roman Williams earlier on. I'd, I'd rather see him starting than Wayne Sandlands. Nothing against Wayne. Yeah, me we too. just want to see Roman, don't we, on the international stage? Yeah, no, I mean, Roman's a, a tremendous, tremendous talent. And to be honest, I think his future lies outside of South Africa. I think he's, uh, to be at the, state, at the stage he's at as a 21 year old, then he's, he's light years ahead of a lot of the young keepers that are out there um, but no I mean he's got to start for me I mean Wayne is unfortunately for Wayne he came at the wrong time he's not a bad goalkeeper but he's at the wrong time he's never going to usurp Kune whereas Williams is the future just like unfortunately Keat can't play in this one because he's because he's abroad but yeah. I think Keat's in the same boat those two are the guys that we need to be looking at for Bafana Bafana going 10 years time yeah, exactly, mate. Listen, can you run us through a couple of the youngsters, the, the names that we might not know so well? Are there anyone? Is there anyone there you'd highlight? Um, I, Gumedi made it. The the Platinum Stars youngster. He's been great this season. Uh, Chepo Gumedi. He's been. He's. Uh, I think a lot of people expect him to be in there. Um, Tulani Statwell from from Ajax has also made it into the squad. He's been. He's been pretty solid for Ajax this season. They've had a tough year, but I mean, he's a beast. He's a. He's a. He's a good. He's a good strong player. Um, up front, you've got Tabari Mtembu, the guy also from Platinum Stars, who's been scoring for fun in the in the under under twenties, I think it was. And also, I mean, Gordon mentioned him when he named his Afcon squad, saying that he wanted to, to take a take a look at him. Hmm. Um, also, you see the first call up for for No Mandela as well from Three State Stars, who has been quality this season. So I, I don't think you can argue with uh, with a lot of the youngsters he's picked. Um, Hamel Dean also in there from Celtic, also been a good player for them this season. So yeah, I think it's a I think some of the youngsters are, have been good shots from this one. Yeah, absolutely. I, I just love hearing a Yorkshire accent and a Sheffield Wednesday fan <laughs> before his youngsters and, and, and saying it the way it is. Um, South Africa Cup, what do you think it means to South Africa? What, did Gordon put across how anxious he is to impress and how anxious he is to do well in the tournament? Um, not particularly. I mean, I, I think this one is, it, it, he's using it right. This isn't a FIFA tournament. It's not something that's going to bring untold glory to South Africa if they do go on to win it but the tournament to win um, with the the guys that are taking I think they've got a chance of winning it um, yes it's it's not like I say it's not a huge competition but it's still a competition out there to be won yeah. and with the players that Gordon's picked he's obviously signaled his intentions he's not he's not going in here to to have this as a friendly this, he wants to win this yeah. um, and I think that's good and it, it should be used for this purpose it should be used to to bleed the youth into there. Yeah, and that's that's what we're looking for. I kind of, I've got to say, I'm hoping that he doesn't start with the AA and Shabba and Bernard Parker, not just because Bernard Parker has a tendency to score at both ends, but because th there are youngsters <laughs> that you've just gone through that you've explained to us that, that lit up the PSL quietly last season, you know, with yeah. platinum stars, that we want to see a little bit more of, aren't they? Like, like you know, Mintembu up front was the guy that we all thought would come through. Kermit Erasmus, I hear different reports about him, and of course yeah. Chiefs and Pirates both interested in him. And then at the back, and Teti and Matoho, that they become... Bafana's number one partnership, but they're not old, are they? And Tete and Matoa could both be together at Chiefs next season, couldn't they? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I can't see Tabo going to Chiefs, if I'm honest. Ah. Um, but you never know. You never know. <laughs>
That's just what. But I'm no, hearing. in terms of the in terms of the in terms of the squad, I mean, I think they've got a nice mix of of youth and experience. There, you could never, as Gordon said in in his press conference, this isn't a, it's not a youth tournament. Like they've got to pick experience as well. They can't go picking a whole youth side. I mean, I, I think it's been. I think he's got a really nice blend of players there, and I, he, like I say, it's a, it's going to be an interesting one. And then this quote. Listen to this. I have a contract, and this is from Gordon Iggerson this morning. I have a contract until 2014. Let's hope I can go on to 2018. How do you feel about that, Joe? I think he's right. I can't see anyone out there who could do a better job than Gordon. I think he's done a great job so far. Um, I mean, he's turned around things for Bafana Bafana from when no one had any faith in, in the country whatsoever to now people were disappointed. The reason people were so disappointed with the failure to qualify for the World Cup is because the hope was there. Um, the, the hope was there and people believed in him and I think Gordon's brought that back and to be honest I think he's doing right by planning for 2018. Exactly. I, I can't see... I can't see any any other way to think of things. I mean, he said in a press conference, he said that Bafana have had a problem in recent years where people, coaches come in, they get fired, and all the work they've put in, whether it's good or bad, gets chucked to the wayside. Yeah. Um, now they need a bit of stability. They need Gordon, who's got a good experience in the PSL, he's got good contacts abroad, he's got good relationships with the players, and give him a chance to do his thing for a little bit. Fucking, uh, mate, I can only agree. It's interesting because obviously when I was speaking to Stuart Baxter earlier, about uh, half an hour ago, Stuart was, you know, the, the thing about Stuart is he never got the full crack at the Bafana job 10 years before he got yeah. here and then takes Kaiser Chiefs to the double in his first season, the first foreign coach ever. You do look back and you think, well, if we'd given some of these guys, it's like seeing Carlos Pereira on the bench for a, for a rejuvenated Brazil during this confederation. Yeah. Tournament. You wonder if sometimes we didn't give... I mean, I'm not, I'm not so sure about Carlos, but certainly with Stuart, if we didn't give these guys the right opportunity and the right chance. And I've been fighting this battle on Twitter, and I, I'm sure that, that you have as well. We, we often Twitter. Uh, you know, we've we got to keep Gordon there, because not because of any other reason than give the bloke a chance. Give him a chance to put some structures in place. Yeah, exactly. To play this young side at the Kasafa, you know, Cup and, and try and get some youngsters in there and move things on that way. No, without a doubt. I mean, like I said, I can't see a, a, a person who could do a better, job than, a better job than Gordon can do. It's like you say, he needs a chance. He needs to a chance to impose his his way of life on the the Bafana setup, not just on the the national team, but also through the youth setups. He's gonna bring his plan, and he's gonna bring his. I mean, if you look at look at where he's looking now, looking at the the young players, the young talented players. Also, the fact that he's brought in people like Dean Furman who before weren't getting a chance. Yes. And also, uh, I mean, Ricardo Nunes' uh, opinion is split on him, but he's another string to the belt if if you need him. And it's something that Gordon has done by widening his search with the final players. Um, and I think that's only going to continue. And I think Gordon needs to be given a chance to keep that up. Yeah, Joe, thanks, mate. Christ, I, I, I look at this situation and I think you know, there's so much hope for, for Bafana. I know that they lost in Ethiopia. It was a very bizarre goal. We still don't know from FIFA, do we, whether it's going to be a three-point deduction or a six. I think we can definitely rely on a three-point deduction, which makes that last yeah. game on September the 6th against Botswana a live game again when it looked like it was dead. I don't mm -hmm. think we're going to see that six-point uh, six point punishment that Danny Yordan... I know Dennis Mumble has written a letter. Yeah, no, me neither. Dennis Mumble has written a I'm letter I'm pretty sure FIFA. they can't... Hmm. I was just going to say I'm pretty sure they can't they can't get him for the same offence twice I no. think the the second game becomes null and void from yeah. what I've read that's um, yeah. I read through the FIFA rules and that sort of thing so it's that 19.5 regulation isn't it see Danny Ordan said to me yeah. look if the bloke was banned he's suspended until he serves his ban and I you know I sat there arguing with Danny and Santa now over lunch saying well mate you can't take six points off a side for, for a single match ban but I know Dennis Mumble has written that letter to FIFA and I know that that you know, South Africa will be hoping for six points, mm. but depending on a three-point deduction. So we beat Botswana, they draw in the Central African Republic, and there's still a chance of finishing top of Group A and going into those awful playoffs against all the yeah. group leaders and hoping to get to Brazil next year. So yeah, hope. definitely. All right, mate. Joe, listen, it's lovely to speak to you. And I, I know you work for Soccer Laduma. I know that I love Soccer Laduma. And I love what you guys do. Uh, we have a right old Josh, don't we? Clint Roper. Thanks very and, much. <laughs> and, and you guys about Spain. And Spain will probably bloody win again tonight. And Clint Roper seems to be more Spanish than me. Um, listen, mate, <laughs> I'm going to be having to come to you several times uh, over the next few weeks. And, and thanks for Feel doing free, this today. Man. Thanks for being there for me. Pleasure, man. I'll speak to you soon, dude. See you, mate. Good luck to Sheffield Wednesday. Cheers. <laughs> All right. This is Bulls Visual Radio.